Hello. Yes, quite a quite a segment. We're back. Quite a segment. It takes a lot out of it. What are these? Some restless pisses. Alright. Thank so, you, sir. Now we just got done um, talking about some movies and shit. Um, I figured go ahead. Why don't you give the people some give them a few TV shows, some series, because some people they don't really want to watch a movie. They need some shit they want to watch, get hooked on, yeah. and watch it for like, you know, a fucking month. Dedicate some yeah. time to that shit. Yeah, no, definitely. So, that's We live in the streaming world where that is that is the main Hit me format. with some shit. What do you recommend? Yeah. Like, no, so I was got? thinking maybe we could mention some imports, you know, some... Uh, okay. Just to kind of... If you're looking to kind of get out of maybe your scope or things you've heard of, you might have heard of some of these, you might not have, but one I... I know I've talked to, I've, I've been touting for a while, called Gamora. Yup, no doubt. you definitely it's been talking uh, about it. And, I, and again, I have not watched this, so I can't really talk too much. But it is a, It's an Itali- it's a Italian kind of criminal, I guess, oh, <laughs> criminal I dr- get crime. That with the green and crime the red drama. Here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the one that's... Sp- Basically based on uh, the this book by Roberto Saviano, who's this Italian journalist who really got ingrati- like uh, basically in- implanted with a bunch not not implanted but you know I mean he he was immersed in I guess the cr- being around the crime and the criminals that were doing all, like in Naples or parts of Italy to where he you know learned and exposed a lot that to where he's like oh. That's what they do. I'll just look them up because it can summarize better, like exactly what, uh, what they're trying to. The what his life is like now. And this is the fellow that who? Yeah. This? So, it, this, so those sh- the ser- there was a movie that was made, and then there was a series that was made. I'm talking about the series based okay. on this guy's book. Yeah, he uses investigative reporting to economic reality of the territory and business of organized crime in Italy. After receiving death threats in 2006. He's basically been under strict security protocol and lived under police protection since 2006. Holy shit! Yeah, dude. Like, and so so he's he's snitching. In yeah. their eye, in their eyes, he's snitching. Yeah. And yes. That's so his little book writing and movies. Yeah. So his his book is basically the inspiration for a lot of it's going on in is this series. Is that supposed to be that fellow? No, it's it's not. It but this, like this is this is the main one of the main characters. This is his. He's he's called the immortal because like he, he he's just he doesn't die. <laughs> like okay. he was a baby. Like his mom died in like an earthquake when he was a baby, oh, and shit. he was the only like person that survived in the whole building as a baby. Oh, and so like he was, you know, gate basically ascribed kind of that deal. nickname, yeah. and it's how it's been, you know. Fuck. But it's yeah, it, it's and again it's so it's um Stefano Salima is like one of the main directors. Uh, creative, uh, creatives behind it, even though he's not listed there. Man, and you but, say so you did a whole a whole building or something. Or yeah, something I mean that's or? just his backstory, his baby. Yeah, but it's crazy. just, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. You for, be... As far as Italian, like, current, you know, if, if you think of a grit, a grittier the wire that doesn't have near as much like, you know, polish or exposition, because a lot of it is just, you know, following these characters around and the unforgiving Nate. Like nature of what it really is like in these criminal underworlds, and especially in like these more yeah, poverty, poverty stricken areas uh, of uh, Italy. It's yeah. I mean, there's, there's like Sopranos on steroids. It's it's so it's just so well crafted in just the the direction behind it, as far as it's really putting you into the scene with what's going on, and in, in just the soundtrack and the way it's delivered and the characters. It's it's unrelenting, gritty, and not. It isn't for the faint of heart because you don't. There's not one character that you align with that is okay. I hope this guy wins. Uh, yeah. There's not that at all. They're all like in the main guy. It's like everybody's one of the expendable, most, pretty much. Yeah, like. but no, just the, even the main guy, the, the immortal, is does some of the most heinous things. Oh shit! Yeah, like he he chokes his own wife to death on a beach. Oh god! Yeah, and like. Then that and he's, yeah, and he like kidnaps and like, kills this like young girl 
trying to get information out of it. Like, and he's he is he's a piece. They're all relentless. they're all garbage. Yeah, they're all terrible humans, right? And you and you just try and look for the the sense of normal like yeah, human humanity in yeah. any of them because they'll have their wife and kids. So it's, it's like, like they try and have all? it, but in a split second, you know, if somebody needs to die because we think we think that they might well, be it's like, or we think that they might be lining with a different gang you know it's it's yeah it's it's definitely neat hardcore but it's man it's so engrossing and like i'm watching it again for probably the fifth time right really? now really yeah, yeah like i just have it like i'll be working you know, i'll just have it on the background it's just one of those for me this just the way every scene is is done and unfolds in the soundtrack in the acting, it's it all just comes together into what I would call a tour de force. Okay, there you, you know go. what I mean. So, yeah, yeah, no, I know exactly but, what you know. I mean, it's, yeah. it's and it's ended. So I mean, the series it has it's it had, had a todo. it had a conclusion. Yes, it's finito. It's okay. no más. It's todo. See, sí. so yeah, no, I mean, so this like that's like you saying you rewatching it again. That's pretty much what I've started doing again. My show, like in a sense, the way when I'm like with that is dark. Yeah. One, again, when you put me on an import, yeah. that put me like, I'll rewatch it because I the first time to try and figure it still well, see, put it all together. I, right? I, I know it all, 